I often talk about spiritual direction and recommend spiritual direction or spiritual companionship for individuals who are seriously looking at the spiritual dimension of their life, their prayer, their spiritual practices, and looking at how to integrate those things in their lives. And spiritual direction is also very helpful for those who are in the midst of a healing kind of process, like recovery from an addiction or getting past early childhood abuse or other kinds of trauma. And there are times whenever working with a spiritual director can also be very helpful when you're facing a significant illness or, or living with loss and, and wondering why these events happen for you and having someone to help you resolve co conflicts of those kinds. So there are lots of reasons why people can work with a spiritual director and it can be very helpful for them. But one of the things I've never really talked about was what makes me a unique spiritual director. And that's what I want to talk about today. As I do, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So one of the ways I could, I could talk about being a unique spiritual director is because of my training. You know, I, I have a master's degree in spirituality that included uh, training in spiritual direction, both with individuals and groups. Uh, it included coursework that was both in psychology and spirituality and, and reading lots of different spiritual masters. And so that was a unique qualification. Very few spiritual directors have a two-year degree in the discipline. And yeah, I have taught in other spiritual direction training programs, and I've supervised new spiritual directors. But that's not really what makes me unique. I think what really makes me unique is the combination of being grounded in my own spiritual life and my own spiritual practice, as well as being sort of on the edge with things. And that's really what I want to focus on. So my own practice is very contemplative in nature. Yeah, it does draw a lot on, on traditional Christian contemplative spirituality, like I, I do pray the hours each day, and uh, I also do meditation and spiritual reading. But my experience isn't limited to Christianity. I'm not dogmatic about my beliefs. I've learned from a lot of other teachers and masters and really explored with them uh, the art of spirituality and what spirituality is within these various traditions. And so I have a different kind of perspective that I bring with me in spiritual direction. And part of what that means is that I don't fit in a box in terms of dogma or beliefs or systems. Instead, my focus is really on people's experience. What's happening for the individual? How is it that they're putting their life together and what does that mean? And within the context of spiritual direction, part of what I'm really looking at is what I prefer to refer to as the divine, the divine mystery. I don't like using terminology about God because God has certain connotations for us. You know, most people think of God as this male figure in the sky who controls things and manipulates things. But that's not my experience. And again, I focus on experience. My experience is that there is this mystery that connects everything that's within me and all around me, and that there's something that is inspiring about it that is, in essence, divine. And I draw on that image, you know, from the teachings of Jesus, who talks about the realm of God, the kingdom of God, the place of God being within us and among us, that it's already here. And so that's what I really focus on, that there's something already here that's within us and among us and in life that evokes us to further growth, to further potential, to further wholeness. And experiencing that and exploring that is really what spiritual direction is about and how that comes together for us. You know, I've been doing spiritual direction online well before the pandemic. I started, uh, you know, with Skype and then eventually moved to Zoom like most people during the pandemic. 
But because I have done uh, virtual spiritual direction for many years, I've had the opportunity of working with people not only throughout North America, but also in Asia and Africa and Australia and many other parts of the world. And that's been really illuminating because people's paths are very different from my own. And I've appreciated being able to journey with them for some period of time. And in that, I've been able to, to connect with, you know, and work with as a spiritual director, people who were Buddhist monks and Christian clergy and, you know, other kinds of monastics, and as well as people who were consider themselves spiritual, but not religious or not part of any kind of path, but trying to make an understanding of what spirituality is for them. Again, my focus is on what an individual is experiencing, what is illuminating for them, what is helpful for them. And what I try to do is listen very carefully and tease out how they're able to put together these pieces of their life. So I really want you to consider what's important for you about your spiritual life. Not what definitions you put around it, but what's the experience? Where do you find hope? Where do you find healing? Where do you find goodness? Those are important clues for your spiritual life. And in spiritual direction, those are the things I try to work with and help people explore further. Thanks for your time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, share the video with other folks, like the video, Leave me some comments and ask me some questions about spiritual direction. Have a really great day.